Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. And man, this is going to be a really good video. This came from a subscriber that wanted to know what's going on with gas. Right now, all of the news is showing that it should be moving, but it's not. Is this the calm before the storm? Well, we've got the war in Ukraine, Russia cutting off natural gas going to the UK. But by the way, Norway has stepped up. They are now the biggest exporter of natural gas to the UK right now. And could they fill the void uh, that's going to be taking place by way of Russia cutting off uh, the natural gas to the UK? And, and why is it going down? With all of the news out there, the price should be rock and rolling. Well, I've got some insight as to if this really is the calm before the storm. All right, let's get into some slides I've got for you. I've looked at a lot of different stories, but I took the most pertinent information to apply to this video. What affects the price of natural gas? And that's important. With a limited short-term alternatives to natural gas, as heating and electricity generation fuel changes in supply or demand often lead to price swings. All right, so that's a big thing. Why is it not going ballistic? Because there's a certain, a couple of certain things behind it. But according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the EIA for short, the supply side factors impacting price include production, imports, hmm, imports, right? Imports from Russia, no longer there, and storage inventory levels. And that's going to be a key factor in how much oil or actually, gosh, how much natural gas is actually stored up in anticipation of a cold winter. Demand side factors include, of course, weather, economic conditions, and petroleum prices as petroleums may be used as a substitute for power generation. All right. Natural gas inventories, let's talk about inventories, increased by 16% to 3.2 trillion cubic feet over one month period ending in early October. So storage has increased, which will help to keep the price of natural gas down because the demand is not biting into that supply. So right now there's a lot. Uh, the EIA said that this week, but it's not enough to prevent an increase in national, uh, natural gas prices this winter. So anticipatorily, I guess that's a good word. I made that up, but it sounded good. Um, we know that gas prices will be going up, but that doesn't make you know any of you guys feel any better if you're holding gas and it's going down. Remember folks, you don't need to hold in your gas. <laughs> Oh, rim shot. With the government officials predicting households that rely on natural gas will spend 28% more to heat their homes this winter compared to last year. So people are going to be spending more money. Now, here's the supply side. 60 liquefied natural gas vessels are slow sailing or anchored around the Northwest Europe, the Mediterranean and Iberian Peninsula, according to marine traffic. This is now being looked at as supply because they haven't been able to deliver the natural gases to the places that they need to. They're just floating around out there. And this is also good for shipping stocks in this space as well. And in addition to this, I'm going to give you a bonus. Three uh, LNG shipping stocks I want you to pay attention to. Uh, gas log, which is ticker symbol GLOP. Flex, which is a ticker symbol of FLNG. And Danios. Ticker symbol DAC are good shipping companies for natural gas that you've got to keep your eyes on. Natural gas is critical for European energy needs into the winter, and Russia has reduced its supply of gas as a result of the war in Ukraine. But existing storage capacity is at 93%. That is a big move, a big reason why natural gas is not on the rise as it should be yet. But once we get into the colder months, folks, people are going to be paying more for gas to heat their homes more than they did last year. And I think that we will very quickly go through that supply and the demand and the supply is going to drive gas prices higher. Now, the EIA expects U.S. natural gas, U.S. Now, we're looking at the U.S. natural gas prices to remain high through 2022. Here we are. We're still going to remain high as you see the 
bump up in natural gas over the last couple of years. It looks like it's going to fade off back in 2023. We'll see. But coming into right now, uh, this is still a good time, in my opinion, based upon what you see here to be in natural gas. Natural gas prices for the upcoming winter are expected to remain higher than the recent years um, at the major trading hubs across the U.S., Federal Energy Regulatory Commission staff said in the winter energy market and reliability. Blah, 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 blah. Although production growth is likely to outpace that of domestic demand this winter, rising net exports, namely LNG, will place additional pressure on natural gas prices this winter. All right. So now. That is my insight behind why the prices are moving lower right now. And a lot of it has to deal with supply. It looks like the UK or the European nations have a lot of supply right now in preparation of the winter coming. It's sort of like the ants. The ants gather a whole bunch of stuff to store away before the winter comes, right? So I think that they're doing that right now. Now, here's 10 stocks that I want you to keep your eyes on. Because I do think that this is the calm before the storm. I've got 10 stocks and one uh, ETF, which is UNG, which is, let me tell you, in my opinion, extremely volatile. It's a hard way to try to make money because as soon as it goes up, it goes down very quickly as well because volatility on that ETF is extremely high. So I've given you 10 stocks to look at. And one of them, everybody out there should know about, which is LNG, one of the best stocks in the VectorVest system, um, trading at 169 with a value of 255, nicely undervalued, great upside potential, safety, and in an uptrending price and a buy recommendation. Con ConocoPhillips, also trading undervalued, good upside potential, not as good a safety as LNG, but still above one. ExxonMobil, trading undervalued. Why are the, all of these stocks for the most part trading under value because they've all been beaten up, all right? And that rounds out my top three in here that are buy recommendations. Now we go down the list. We have Shell, Chesapeake, EQT, Antero, Southwestern, Kinder Morgan, Enbridge, and of course, UNG. So I'm going to do this real quick. If I look at a group of uh, this whole group of stocks on a graph, let's right click. And now could this be the storm, the, the calm before the storm? Here's the bump up in all 11 of these stocks. Pulled back, found a solid level of support as a group at 61.58. Bouncing off that above the 20-day exponential moving average. But what is it doing? It's moving sideways. That's a good sign. At least it's not currently moving down. As a group, this group of stocks is in a sideways move. I'd like to see it break above this level of resistance of 65.80. I've got another uh, level of resistance on the four-month graph sitting at 68.14. What else do I like about these stocks? Earnings is the engine that drives a market or a stock price higher. Look at the rising earnings. These companies are making money, which makes it very attractive to people to buy. Now, one last thing before I end this video, big money, hedge funds. Let's talk about that. LNG, 62 hedge funds are in this stock. EQT, EQT, 52 hedge funds are in here. Kinder Morgan, 40 hedge funds are in here. Chesapeake, 59 hedge funds are in here. And SWN, uh, 35 hedge funds are in it. So that is normally a good sign that if the big money is behind it, that it has the potential to go up in price. But I've laid out the plan, the plan or the the what's going on with it, why it's going down. I think that right now they're bumping up so much on supply in preparation for the winter, but the uh, guidance also shows that it's going to rise. And I still say right now, if you're holding on to anything in this space, just be patient. It will come to you. It should come to you by way of on paper. It should. So, folks, I now laid out the case. You make the call. If you like what you saw here today, hit the like button. Share this video with people in your social circles as well. Let them know what we're doing over here. And if you're not a subscriber to uh, our channel, please hit the subscribe button. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya.